Hi, and welcome to Miss Matthews's Littlest Classroom. It's tutorial time. Today we're going to look at how to use templates in Planbook. I really like using the templates feature because it reduces the number of times I have to add repetitive information. I can add details or procedural information that I do automatically, but a sub will need to know. And it can provide a framework for my plans that I may overlook or forget if it wasn't already there to remind me. Let's have a look on how we do that. Once you're logged into Planbook, let's head over to the Go To button and navigate to Templates. It's over here in the bottom left. Let's start with something pretty standard like Recess. We all have procedures for how we move from the classroom to the outdoors. This might require a bit more thought now with the global pandemic, but we can add in those procedures now and come back and tweak them later. Now let's click Add Template. We're going to name the template. I'll call this something like lunch recess procedures. Then I would describe what I want this to look like. As the year progresses, I'll add more specifics and tweak it to keep track of my supervision schedule or specifics about kids. Where it says class, click the plus icon. Say which class to attach the template to, which days and when it starts. Like maybe this template will only be used on Tuesdays when I have supervision and the other days I'll have a template and it'll only apply to how we move from the classroom to the outdoors. As a sidebar, you also have the option to add in standards and attachments, etc. like on some of the other pop-up screens. When I'm done adding in the details, I'm just going to click on the check mark. Another way I would use this is to create an outline for my lessons. For example, I want to create myself a detailed script for my lessons or perhaps it's for a sub coming into my classroom. So I want to include the following parts for each lesson. My objective or goals, materials, anticipatory set or I want to review from the previous lesson, direct instruction, procedures like what the teacher is doing, what I'm doing or what the students are doing, uh, guided practice, a closure independent practice, or maybe even assessments. When I'm done the description, I'll add it to a class, pick which days to attach it to, or every day if I need to, and then I click the check mark. Now when I go into my plans, the templates will be applied to the lessons I've attached them to. Thanks for checking in today. Hope this cuts down on the amount of repetitive details you have to add in moving forward. Remember to like and subscribe so you'll be notified when I get my next video out to you. Happy teaching!